2020, Mentor Channel. Hi, welcome to this short briefing. We are going to talk about the role of a pilot monitoring during the takeoff. Having a proper monitoring is key to ensure the good application of the standard operating procedures and early detection of any malfunction in order to take the right decision at the right moment in this dynamic phase. Let's have a closer look at the different steps of the takeoff phase. Once the takeoff clearance is obtained and the external lights are set for takeoff, the pilot flying announces takeoff and sets the thrust levers to the initial stabilization value. Takeoff. For more details regarding the thrust setting, I invite you to see the win video. What about thrust at takeoff? During this phase, the pilots monitor that the stabilization step is fulfilled according to the type of engine. As the pilot flying is keeping his hand on the thrust levers till the flex or toga detent is reached, only the pilot monitoring start the chrono. Then, the captain is continuously keeping his hand on the first levers until V1. The PF announces the indications on his FMA and the PM checks his FMA and announces checked. Vanflex 69 SRS runway auto thrust to blow. Check! Part of the PFD and D monitoring, the PM also checks the FMS position on the ND. In fact, that the synthetic aircraft is on the runway center line, in particular, in case of GPS primary, is not available or lost. Below 80 knots, the pilot monitoring checks the thrust setting, meaning that the actual N1 EPR or thrust of each engine has reached the thrust rating limit and on A350 and A380 the thrust target indicated by the blue dot. And then the PM announces thrust set. Thrust set. During the takeoff roll the pilot monitoring monitors the PFD and engine indications. In particular airspeed, N1, or EPR, or thrust, depending on the aircraft, and EGT. An early detection of any malfunction well before the 100 knots cross check helps the flight crew to make the appropriate decision and may avoid high energy related takeoff. Return of experience shows that, for example, following an aircraft storage, unreliable airspeed events during takeoff may happen. Therefore, by scanning the airspeed indication throughout the takeoff roll, a pilot monitoring can early detect any inconsistent airspeed indications between instruments or absence of airspeed indications. When reaching 100 knots on his PFD, the pilot monitoring announces 100 knots. The PF cross check and confirm the speed indicated on his PFD and announces checked. 100 knots check. When the speed reaches V1, the PM monitors V1 auto callout or announces V1 on his PFD. And the captain removes his hand from the first levers. Pilot monitoring orders the rotation by announcing rotate when the speed reaches VR on his PFD. 
a PF performs the rotation. V1, rotate. Positive climb. I also invite you to see the wind video What About Rotation Technique. To sum up, let's review the complete sequence of takeoff. Takeoff. Flex 69S RS runway auto thrust blow. Check. Thrust set. One hundred knots. Check. V1. Rotate. Positive climb. To conclude this briefing as instructor, it is important to highlight the role of the pilot monitoring during the takeoff phase, as described in your flight crew operating manual and flight crew technique manual. This monitoring is important at each step all along the takeoff roll and also must include. PFD and engine indications. I hope you enjoyed this briefing and I'll see you around for the next one. A320 Mentor Channel. Thanks for watching.